Hi everybody, it's Gail from Gail's Bookish Things. I'm here with a new pen unboxing. I have opened the box and um, I thought that this was funny and also good, very minimal packaging. And that probably allows the company to ship a pen um, with free shipping if you spend over $20, which I really appreciate. So I ordered this Esther Brook from Drum Ghouls. And actually, um, my husband ordered it, but I asked him if he wanted to get it for me for our anniversary. And he said yes, and that's not for another at least month and a half, but it came today. And I did want to order it while it was still out there. So as you can see, an Esterbrook and a nice little cloth covered box and the one that we got is this, the Botanical Garden. Uh, when I was at the pen show, I was looking for this model, but they were not really readily available. And so I didn't get it, and my husband was nice enough to purchase this for me, like I said, for our anniversary. I just think this is such a beautiful pen. I wish that I could show it off a little better. It seems like my dark background doesn't do it justice. Maybe a dirty paper towel will do better. So what appealed to me about this pen when it first came out was the name, Botanical Garden, but also the color that that is comprised of, our colorway. And so there's this golden yellow, there's a what I would describe as maybe a scarlet red or a deep red or fuchsia, these um, purpley, not purpley, but like a deep pink. And then there's blue and like a sea glass green and darker greens. I love our Missouri Botanical Garden so much. In fact, I was just there today and I hope to put pictures at the beginning and end of this video. And when I was walking around today and taking pictures, I was contemplating which ink I would put in this pen in honor of the outing, but also just uh, for the day out, which which flower caught my eye the most and, and things like that. So I had been thinking, I'm always drawn to gold and yellows and oranges, and there were a lot of those. I'm kind of wanting to do something that will pick up on this golden yellow, but then green is such a classic color. I mean, it's just beautiful shades of green. There were ferns. There were just shiny, beautiful leaves in the Climatron. Everywhere, everything is accented by green. So as you can see, I got the, um, I think it's called palladium rather than the gold. The gold one was harder to come by and I did decide to give this a whirl. Um, I don't have quite as many. I guess all my Twispies have silver, but I tend towards buying the gold and I decided to try this one. Looks like the Esther Brook is in white and it's that uh, rounded cigar shape, which at the beginning of my fountain pen journey, I did not like. But now I am enjoying it. So it does have that little cush to it where you have to push in a little bit. It's got the um, extra plastic or rubbery liner in the cap to help with the drying out aspect. This is a broad nib. It's got the logo there. And it, you know, it feels it's not huge. I didn't get the oversized one. They were a lot more expensive and this one has a nice feel to it. The grip here is is a good size for what I like. I have bigger gripped pens with bigger grips. And they're fine. I'm noticing if they're too little, I don't like it. 
it seems more fatiguing to my hand. So I am happy with this one. This is all very smooth. It has the silver tone band there. And it's just a really, really pretty pen. I liked this colorway also um, because of the sentimental value of the botanical gardens here in St. Louis and because of the good memories there. But I was drawn to this as well because so many inks could be used and it could be a fun kind of matching experience without being too matchy. It's just, you could use a variety of inks and it would go nicely with this. In this case, I would go with something that complements rather than contrasts. And I really liked that, that element of this. And the colors seem rich to me. I'm not usually drawn to, I mean, I do like oranges, but maybe I wouldn't get like a bubblegum pink pen or something like that. I like more deep, rich tones. And I'm afraid to do this. There we go. There's the converter in there. And as you can see, it comes with a little cartridge. And that is that. I will... Okay, so it's got that, so you're like, ah, oh, it doesn't fit, but you have to push and then twist. So that's kind of fun, a little bit different something or other. This is what I'm thinking. I got these out ahead of time. I have the Noodlers Golden Brown. Uh, this was given to me by Katie at Holy Fire Scribble to try. And I thought that might be a very nice match for this golden yellow. I also thought of my... Tatia um, Golden Wheat, and I know that that's a reliable writer, so I'm almost tempted to start with that one because I'm not, I haven't written with this one. And then I've only done, I've done tests with this, and then Karina was kind enough to send me this Ombre de Bramani, and it is a much, I mean, it seems really light, but it seems like it would go with that. However, maybe experimenting with an ink that I'm not as familiar with maybe won't be the best to start out with this because I want to really test the quality <clears throat> or the feel of that nib. And somebody had mentioned that sometimes the, this brand can tend towards a little bit of dry. So maybe I'll wait on that one. The other idea was the Tex-Mex. This is by Colorverse and it does remind me a little bit of Diamine writer's blood. I have my sample over here. I was playing around with it a little bit more with the dip pen. That would be a way of picking up on the reddish tones there. So I don't have a lot of inks in that shade. Let's move this out of the way. And then the other thought was just good old Yama Budo. This is a really pretty, like a fuchsia color. And that color I feel like is pretty close to this deeper pink color in here. Wouldn't call it a purple, it really is a deep pink and then there's the deep red. So I think actually that that would be fun. I did think about this Private Reserve Sherwood Green from my friend Marcy over at Marcy Me, but I am kind of leaning towards this. As much as I want to use a yellow, I think this will just be a good match for a first writing time, and it allows me to get a little bit out of my pen rut, which has been a good rut, but it's been a lot of oranges lately, so. Let's go ahead and get a little place handy in my ink swatching journal here. And I'll be back as soon as I have that inked up. It is inked up. I did wear gloves, so minimal damage to my hands. 
that little bit of push down and then it releases. Such a pretty pen. Okay, let's uh, just come up with something to write. I'll try to come down a little here without knocking over my lamp. Wow. It is like very wet flow to this pen. Kind of a little had trouble with my E there, but that's not the pen swap. Botanical garden and I'm writing with Pilot Aroshizuku. Yama Budo. It feels great. I love that it just really lays down the ink you know, very generously. Um, I think this is a fun match. So it really does pick up on the pink in there, the deep pink color. Um, it's got a little bit of a feedback to it, but I find it very pleasant. I don't find it dry at all. It's not scratchy, it just has that little bit of, a little bit of uh, something, and it could be the paper too, but. Yeah, this is nice. I mean, it just gushes the ink. There's no problem here at all with any of the angles, any of the, um, you know, little slants that you might get when you're writing, it's just coming out very beautifully. And this is a happy anniversary or anniversary celebration. I'll say thanks to my hubby there. Yeah, good pen. This is going to be a fun go-to. It's just so striking. It's so beautiful. I love all these little pieces. Wonderful addition to my pen family. And I'm very happy to have that. All right, that's all for now. Thanks for watching and enjoy the pictures. See you again soon. Take care. Bye.